Hello everyone and it's Dwee Wee and welcome to Redstone lesson number one. Now, this Redstone lessons that I want to do are kind of a risk because people told me that I'm not very good at explaining stuff. So, if this won't work out and you'll see that you don't understand anything, just tell me and I'll stop this. I will only continue this if people will like this and use this. Okay, so... In this tutorial, or this lesson, grey wool will be used as connecting, white wool as inputs, and black wool as outputs. And in a minute I'll explain what these things are. Okay, so the first thing you want to know is what is redstone. This here is redstone. It looks like this, as an item. You can place it on the ground, like so. All that. And this here is a repeater. Like that. Now, what redstone does is that if an, an input is powered, it powers the redstone near it. So like this thing is an input, this, and it powers this redstone here. And the redstone takes the, uh, uh, goes to the output, and if it's on, the output will do something. What It depends on the output, like there is a redstone lamp, and it will be activated. And... What it does basically, so it connects the input to the output. So if I'll power the input, the output will do something, and I connect them both with redstone. Now, the thing about redstone, it can only last for 15 blocks. So we got, this is the input, so this always gives power. So we got, uh, and this is the 14 block. So this is the 15 block, and this is the 16. And in the 16 block, the redstone is not powered anymore, because... It just can't be after 15 block. So that's why they invented redstone repeaters. Which are these things. What redstone repeater does is that it basically repowers the signal. So I got 15 blocks and then a redstone repeater. And it gives power again for another 15 blocks. And you can see that this redstone lamp is now uh, gives light. It's now on because of the repeater which is on. And it's directed to the redstone lamp. Okay, moving on. Repeaters are uh, have a direction. What do I mean? If you place a repeater just like that or that or that, it wouldn't always work. You need to place it in the right direction. So, in a repeater, you see this triangle? This is the input and this here is the output. And if I'll put it like that, the input is not receiving anything and the output is blocked because he thinks this here is the output. So, also like that, because there is no input and there is no output. You need to do it like that, with the direction from the input is coming through here and the output to here. Like that. Okay, so now I'll show you all, ki all the kinds of inputs. We got the lever. Lever powers the, uh, the redstone for co constantly until you flip it. So. If you flip it down, it will power it constantly, and if you flip it up, it won't power it constantly. Okay, so next up is a button. A button is something that powers the redstone for a short amount of time. Like that. Exactly for a second. Okay, next up is wooden pressure plates and stone pressure plate. They're both the same, so if I'll step on the wooden pressure plate on the, or on the stone pressure plate, it will give power, like that. But the only difference between them is that if I'll throw an item on the wooden pressure plate, it will also give power. And on the stone pressure plate, it wouldn't. Next up is this resonant torch, what you saw over there. And it just gives power constantly, no matter what. Uh, this here, thing here is tripwire hook. What you do to make this is you take tripwire hook and you need string. Take two blocks. You put three wire hooks on each of them, like that, and you put string in the middle to connect them. And then, if I'll go on the string, if I'll step on it, it will give power. And same with throwing an item on it. Okay, now I'll show you all the outputs. Okay, so there are a lot of outputs. The first one is a dispenser. A dispenser dispenses the items in it. So if we'll give it power, it will shoot a random item from the three I put it in. So I'll give it power and it will shoot. It can do it again and again until it runs out of items. And then it can shoot nothing. This is a redstone lamp. When you 
give it power, it gives light. Kaboom. This here is a note block. Now, you can't hear it because my sound is turned off, but it just gives sound like a note or something. That's all. Okay. Wooden doors. We all know wooden doors. You can open it or close it by right clicking it, and you can do it with giving it power. Same with iron doors, but with iron doors, you can do it in hand. Fence gates are just like wooden doors, and so the trap doors, like that. Okay, so these two are pistons. This is a normal piston, and this is a sticky piston. A piston will just push the uh, block up, like that. A sticky piston won't only push the block up, it will also retract it, because it's sticky. And the block sticks to it, and that was a bug, and I don't know what happened. But, basically, just push it, and retracts it. And the last one, which everyone knows, TNT. Gotta love that stuff. Okay, so uh, now normally, if you want to power redstone, you just need to connect it to an input. But redstone can be also powered through blocks. Now, the blocks can't just power redstone. So if I'll have something like this, it won't just power the redstone. If the block is connected to an input, then it will power. So, this input is not connected to the redstone, it's just connected to the block. But, this powers the block, and the block powers the redstone. Like that. But, the redstone can't give power to the block and the redstone. Only an input can power a block, and then a redstone. And of course, more stuff, and I'll get to that. Like an output. Output can also get the power through a block. Like that. Just opposite. You get the power through a block, and you give the power to the output through the block. Okay, so, repeaters are very neat, because they're also an input and an output at the same time. The power of the input can receive power through blocks, and the power of the output can also receive power through blocks. So, you see, the redstone is going to the block, and into the repeater, to the block, and out of the, to the redstone here, to power this redstone lamp. So, this is really nice, and you can do a lot of stuff with that. So, mind that repeaters can power blocks. And, redstone torch is also special, because if I'll try to uh, give power to a redstone torch, like that, nothing will happen. But, if I'll give power to a redstone torch through a block, like that, it'll actually act like an output, and it will be turned on, off. Sorry, off. So, you can do something called a no gate with this. So, if the output is off, then the uh, in, if the input is off, then the output will be on. And if the input is on, then the output will be off, because you turn off the torch. Okay, so, moving on. Because the torch is sort of an output, it can also power blocks, because it's both inputs and an output. So, you can, if you put a block above the torch, you can do something like this to power that. You can see here. Okay, so next up, I want to talk about delay. If you'll see here, when I flip this lever, there will be a slight delay till the redstone lamp will turn on. See that? That's because of the whoa. Okay, never. Mind. That's because of the repeater. Repeaters, on the default state of them, like that, have one tick delay, which is actually. Uh, one second divided by ten so you can hardly see the delay but every time you right click the repeater it gives another one tick so now it's two tenths of a second now it's three tenths and now it's four tenths which is the max delay a repeater can get first you can put more and more repeaters like there okay so here I got four ticks plus four ticks plus two ticks which is exactly a second so this is exactly a second so, till the redstone lamp will turn on or off. Here I just got a redstone, uh, uh, redstone torch ladder, like so, so you can uh, take the signal up easily. And I use the input output to, go, to get it through the blocks, like so. Okay, so, redstone torches also have a slight delay. Each redstone torch is exactly one tick of a delay. So now I got the input divided into two... Uh, ways so it, it goes to the repeater here with two ticks 
and to these two torches. And these two resin lamps will be activated at the exact same time. Because they both have exactly two ticks of delay. So, mind that, that when you're building with resin torches, it has delay. So, if you uh, need to be specific on timings, watch that. Okay, so that's it for th lesson one. Now, I got a bit of a challenge if you really understood anything. So, there is a challenge. Make a pressure plate that activates a redstone lamp after exactly 3 seconds without visible redstone. Good luck. So it will be something like this. Now, I can't show you it's exactly 3 seconds, but in the video you'll probably see. So, here's the pressure plate. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so I probably don't count well. But, yeah, something like that, and you can't see any redstone. Good luck. Let's see if you can make it by what, you st what, by what I showed you. Uh, well, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and rate this video so I will know if I should continue doing this series of Redstone lessons. Bye-bye!